Did you know that toothpaste didn't always have the refreshing minty flavor we know today? In fact, its earliest versions had tastes that could make you wince. And yet now the world consumes tens of billions of tubes every year, over 600 tubes every single second. We use it at least twice a day. But how often do we stop to wonder what's actually inside that tube and how does it keep its texture, color, and quality intact for two to three years without separating, fading, or breaking down? It's no accident that brands like Colgate, PS, or Sensodyne can produce millions of tubes a day while maintaining identical quality down to the smallest detail. Behind that simple plastic shell lies an intricate production line where ingredients are carefully selected, mixed under a vacuum, passed through rigorous quality checks, and only then are filled and sealed. All of it designed to ensure a product that's safe and effective every single time you brush. So, let's step inside the factory and see exactly how a tube of toothpaste comes to life. Few people realize that the history of toothpaste stretches back thousands of years, far earlier than most would imagine. Around 3000 BC, ancient Egyptians crushed pumice stone and blended it with salt, ash, and herbs to create a rudimentary tooth cleaning mixture. Crude as it was, it remains one of the earliest known forms of toothpaste. In ancient Rome, oral hygiene was tied to a rather unusual practice, using fermented urine to whiten teeth. The reason? Urine contains ammonia, an alkaline compound with natural cleaning properties. This custom became so common that it was once taxed as a commodity for personal hygiene. It wasn't until the 19th century that toothpaste began to take on the familiar form we know today. First sold as a dry powder, it later evolved into a paste stored in small jars. Then in 1896, Colgate made a breakthrough, introducing toothpaste packaged in aluminum tubes, inspired by artist paint tubes. From that point on, formulas kept improving, adding fluoride to fight cavities, foaming agents for a cleaner feel, cool mint flavors, and whitening agents. Today, the humble tube of toothpaste is a fixture in nearly every bathroom around the world. Speaking of brushing, do you usually do it before breakfast or after? The first step in creating a tube of toothpaste begins with preparing the ingredients, the very foundation that determines the quality of the final product. Few would expect that inside what looks like a simple plastic tube lies a carefully balanced blend of 10 to 20 different components, each measured with precision down to fractions of a millimeter. The key ingredient is an abrasive, such as calcium carbonate or silica, which works to remove plaque and restore the natural shine of tooth enamel. Next comes a humectant like glycerin or sorbitol, ensuring the paste stays smooth and doesn't harden even after long storage. A foaming agent, most often sodium lauryl sulfate, SLS, the same found in many shampoos and body washes, helps spread the toothpaste evenly throughout the mouth. Added to the formula are fluoride to protect enamel, cool mint flavors, sugar-free sweeteners, preservatives, and whitening or antibacterial agents depending on the product line. All of these ingredients are then fed into an electronic dosing system where every gram is measured with exacting accuracy and logged into the production database. Even the slightest deviation can affect safety, texture, and the protective performance of the finished toothpaste. Once all the ingredients have been precisely measured and poured into the mixing tank, they aren't blended the way most might expect. Mixing in an environment exposed to air could be disastrous. Just a single tiny air bubble is enough to cause a finished tube to separate or develop unsightly surface pitting. Instead, the mixture enters a specialized mixer that operates in a completely vacuum-sealed chamber. Inside this isolated space, the blades move with quiet but formidable force, kneading the blend while maintaining perfect consistency. Not so thin that the paste seeps and spills, yet not so thick that it becomes difficult to squeeze from the tube. The result is a silky smooth mixture that will spread evenly across every bristle of a toothbrush. The blending process follows a strict sequence. 
First, liquid components like glycerin, sorbitol, and purified water are thoroughly mixed to create the base. Next, powdered abrasives such as calcium carbonate or silica are gradually sifted in, layer by layer, to prevent clumping. Only when the mixture reaches the ideal stability are the most delicate ingredients, cool mint flavor, fluoride, and the foaming agent, introduced preserving their full taste and effectiveness. Before it ever reaches the packaging line, the semi-finished toothpaste must pass a rigorous round of auditions inside the factory's on-site laboratory. From every batch, technicians draw a small sample and put it through an array of precise tests, measuring viscosity, pH, color, aroma, and even its stability under extreme storage conditions. Part of the sample is placed inside a high temperature chamber to observe whether it separates, changes color, or forms a residue under intense vibration. Another portion is pumped into test tubes to evaluate ease of squeezing, mouthfeel, and its reaction to direct light. Every minute detail matters, because if even one measurement falls short, the entire batch may be rejected or sent back for adjustments. Once the toothpaste is ready, it needs a perfect home to contain it. And that's when the tube casing enters production. In many modern factories, toothpaste tubes aren't shipped in from elsewhere. They're manufactured right on site. This approach ensures consistent sizing, minimizes packaging errors, and significantly reduces transportation costs. The most common materials are multi-layer plastics, especially polyethylene, PE or laminate, tough yet flexible materials with high mechanical strength that work seamlessly with high-speed automated filling lines. Compared to traditional aluminum tubes, plastic tubes are lighter, resistant to crimping, easier to shape, and can be printed with vivid graphics, colors, or text directly on the surface, a major advantage for making a brand stand out on store shelves. Depending on the chemical nature of each toothpaste formula, Manufacturing engineers fine-tune the structure of the tube layers. For example, with mildly acidic toothpaste, the innermost layer is reinforced to improve barrier properties and prevent chemical reactions, ensuring the product's quality is preserved throughout its shelf life, even under less-than-ideal storage conditions. Next, the empty plastic tubes leave the production line and move into the filling area, the stage where they are brought to life with the toothpaste mixture that has already passed a battery of rigorous laboratory tests. This is considered one of the most critical links in the entire chain, because even a minor mistake here can result in an entire batch being discarded. The filling process is fully automated, powered by high-speed machinery. Depending on the scale and capacity of the factory, speeds can reach anywhere from 120 to 200 tubes per minute so fast that it's nearly impossible to follow with the naked eye. On the conveyor, the tubes are neatly aligned and pass in sequence beneath the filling nozzles. Precision calibrated components programmed to pump the exact number of grams into each tube. The margin of error is extremely small, ensuring that every tube is identical in both weight and the user experience it delivers. For striped toothpaste varieties, like white and blue or white and red, the filling nozzles are engineered with separate chambers, each holding a different color paste. As the machine operates, the colors are dispensed simultaneously into specific positions, creating clean, evenly colored stripes that never blend together. This technique, first introduced in the 1970s as a clever marketing tactic to make products stand out on store shelves, has since become a familiar aesthetic signature for consumers. Once filled, the toothpaste tubes continue along the conveyor to the sealing stage, the protective shield that prevents leaks and preserves the product's integrity throughout its shelf life. For plastic tubes, factories typically use heat sealing technology. The base of each tube is heated to a high temperature, then pressed firmly shut to form a strong, airtight seam that blocks both air and moisture from entering. In many modern facilities, the moment the seal is made, the system automatically stamps the production date onto the lower edge of the tube, 
saving time and making batch traceability effortless. Every action is synchronized, allowing thousands of tubes to be completed in just a matter of minutes. Though it may seem like a simple finishing step, this is the dividing line between a product that meets quality standards and an entire batch destined for rejection. If the seal is even slightly open or misaligned, the toothpaste inside can oxidize, deteriorate, or harden within weeks, wiping out the value of all the work done in the earlier stages. Beyond printing essential details directly on the tube's surface, many factories also prepare an additional insert to accompany each box of toothpaste. These instruction leaflets are usually printed using offset or laser technology on thin, lightweight paper that folds neatly to fit inside the packaging. They carry all the key information, from usage directions and recommended dosage, to safety warnings for specific groups, and storage guidelines to keep the product performing at its best. It may seem like a small addition, but it plays a crucial role in ensuring that consumers fully understand and make the most of the toothpaste they've chosen. By guiding them on proper use, it helps protect both the product's integrity and the brand's trust in the long run. Once each finished toothpaste tube is paired with its instruction leaflet, it moves into the cartoning stage, where every tube is neatly placed into its own paperboard box. These boxes are typically made from thin yet sturdy carton, cut and folded with precision to match the tube's dimensions, ensuring a snug fit that prevents any shifting during transport. More than just a layer of protection, the carton serves as the product's face, displaying brand imagery, ingredient lists, usage directions, and key identifiers like logos, anti-counterfeit seals, or QR codes for quick verification. All of this is carried out seamlessly on an automated cartoning line, from flattening and folding the board, inserting the tube, applying adhesive along the flaps, to sealing both ends of the box. With synchronized precision, the process runs continuously, minimizing the chances of jams, misaligned tubes, or uneven glue application. Once the boxes are complete, the toothpaste is ready for its final step, being packed into larger shipping cartons and labeled for distribution before leaving the factory floor. After cartoning, individual boxes are gathered and neatly stacked into large shipping cartons, each capable of holding anywhere from a few dozen to several hundred units, depending on the distribution plan for each market. This stage is fully automated. Robotic arms and conveyor belts work in perfect coordination to position every box precisely, apply tape, and seal the carton securely. Immediately afterward, the system prints and applies a barcode label to the carton surface, encoding vital details such as quantity, batch number, packing date, and delivery destination. This ensures that warehouse management, inventory control, and distribution to every retailer or supermarket can be carried out swiftly, accurately, and with virtually no errors. Before leaving the factory, every batch of toothpaste must pass a final quality inspection, from each lot, technicians randomly select a number of boxes for hands-on testing, squeezing to assess softness, examining color and smoothness, evaluating fragrance, and even judging the feel during use. At the same time, technical parameters such as pH level, viscosity, and stability under storage conditions are rechecked. If every metric meets the standard, the batch is assigned a verification code and cleared for shipment. But the moment even the smallest defect is detected, the entire lot is held back or discarded. Today's toothpaste tubes are primarily made from two types of materials, aluminum or multi-layer plastics like PE and laminate, each with its own strengths and trade-offs. Aluminum tubes, though less common, remain the choice for formulas sensitive to light and air, thanks to their superior preservation and oxidation resistance. However, they're prone to creasing and can crack, leaving visible folds after use. Plastic tubes, on the other hand, are lighter, more flexible, and durable, ideal for high-speed automated packaging lines. Modern trends have even pushed many brands toward recycled plastics, reducing waste and aligning with the demand for sustainable consumption. 
Yet some premium lines remain loyal to aluminum for the sense of refinement and upscale presentation it conveys. In the end, material selection is not just a technical decision, it's a brand statement, a subtle promise to consumers about the value and experience the product aims to deliver. From a simple blend of powder, water, and flavoring, toothpaste undergoes a long and meticulous journey before it becomes a familiar staple in every bathroom. What might seem like a straightforward process is, in reality, a precise and tightly regulated sequence, from selecting even the smallest ingredients, to blending them under strict controls, to inspecting every single tube before it leaves the factory. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button to support our content team, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions about the toothpaste manufacturing process, and subscribe so you won't miss the next fascinating stories from the world of production we'll be bringing you soon.